The Simon and Garfunkel concert was a new experience for many in the crowd, but the music was familiar to everyone. In 1957, Simon and Garfunkel weren't sure anyone would ever remember their names, so they launched their career as Tom and Jerry. However, those names and that music were quickly forgotten. Eight years later, they tried it again as Simon and Garfunkel. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. What followed was a succession of hits from Sounds of Silence to Bridge Over Troubled Water. The duo that had started as buddies in a junior high school talent contest was now a major influence in pop music. The harmony, which came so easily in their music, wasn't there offstage, so Simon and Garfunkel split up in 1970. This summer, they decided to try it again, although the creative differences still exist. Uh, we're strong about what we like. We're both very hard-pressed to go, uh, but let me withdraw my idea and pretend it wasn't a good one, you know? You have to yield part of your personality and meld it with another's. And uh, actually, neither one of us particularly likes to do that. That's, I mean, that's the truth. And so we do it under strain. Wake up, this is Wake up. Simon and Garfunkel discovered the strain of working together could be outweighed by the pleasure of making music together when they performed one concert in Central Park in 1981. 500,000 people showed up, indicating the public was also ready for a reunion. Ooh, la, la. 